Here's the corrected version, an ingredient that is missing from most of the success formulas out there today. Without this magic ingredient, your dreams and goals fall flat. But with this magic ingredient, you can accomplish anything and everything you want, and it's called self-discipline. There are several disciplines that you need to develop if you want to achieve your full potential. The first discipline of all is the discipline of clear thinking. The quality of your thinking determines the quality of your decisions and choices. Your decisions and choices determine the actions you take, and the actions you take determine your results. Your results determine the quality of your life. Peter Drucker said, you need to take time to think. Fast decisions are usually wrong decisions, especially fast decisions involving people or money. So, if you're going to make a decision that has long-term consequences, then you have to give it a lot of thought. You have to look at it from every single side and think about it carefully. The more carefully you think about a decision, the better the quality of that decision will be when you finally make it. One of the very best ways that you can develop the discipline of clear thinking is to sit in solitude for 30 to 60 minutes when you have a major problem or issue in your life. You'll start to calm down and all the fidgetiness will disappear. It's almost like a bucket full of silty water. If you leave it sit there for a while, the water goes completely clear. At a certain point, ideas will start to come as you're writing out all the details. Sometimes, exactly the right choice pops out at you. It becomes clear, but you would not have triggered that superconscious solution if you hadn't taken the time to think on paper. Aristotle once said that wisdom, which is the greatest of all human desires, is the ability to make good decisions. Here's the key to good thinking. Be open to doing something completely different. Clear thinking is the first discipline. It is the discipline practiced by the most successful, happiest, and wealthiest people in our society. The second major discipline is the discipline of daily goal setting. Have your goals in writing. Write them up very specifically and clearly. Follow these four steps. Write and rewrite your goals each morning, review them in the evening, and ask yourself two questions. What did I do right? What did I do that moved me toward my goals today? What would I do differently if I had the day to live over? If you ask yourself those two questions in the next 30 days, you'll accomplish more than you did in the last six months. Every time you write your goals down, you're programming them into your subconscious mind. When you program them into your subconscious mind, you set up a field of vibration within your brain. This law of attraction, based on this field of vibration, attracts into your life people and circumstances that harmonize with your dominant thoughts. The third discipline is the discipline of courage. Mark Twain said, do the thing you fear, and the death of fear is certain. Fear and courage tend to be habits. If you're afraid and you give in to the fear and you back away, it becomes a habit to back away whenever you're afraid or unsure. If you're afraid and you force yourself to confront the fear, it becomes a habit to confront the fear. Whenever you find something that you're afraid of, you'll find that most fears disappear when you confront them. You realize that the fear was in your own mind. Identify one fear situation in your life today and use that as your challenge, use that as your test case. Once you've done that, you'll look up, and you'll be a different person for the rest of your life. You'll know that nothing that you're afraid of can stop you. The fourth discipline is the discipline of daily time management. Disciplining yourself to plan your day thoroughly before you begin will save you at least 10 minutes for every minute you spend in planning. According to research, it will increase your productivity by 25 to 50 percent, maybe even double your productivity. For every day that you plan, begin the discipline of daily time management by making a list. The very best time to make this list is the night before. If you do this, then your subconscious mind works on your plan all night long, and you often wake up in the morning with great ideas to implement your plan. Organize your list by priority. You'll get twice as much done on any day when you start and complete your major task first thing than any other day. When you have the self-control, self-mastery, and self-discipline to start and complete your most important task, you just feel fabulous about yourself. The fifth discipline is the discipline of regular saving and investing. Savings today are what guarantee the security and the possibilities of tomorrow. The first corollary of the law of saving and becoming a money-saving expert comes from the book, The Richest Man in Babylon, by George Clayson. It is to pay yourself first. Begin today to save 10% of your earnings off the top and never touch it. This is your fund for long-term financial accumulation, and you never use it for any other reason except to assure your financial future. 
Many people start by saving 10% of their income and then graduate to saving 15, 20, and even more, and their financial lives change dramatically as a result, and so will yours. The sixth discipline is the discipline of continuous learning. What takes you from rags to riches is personal development. Peter Drucker says, knowledge and skill are the keys to the 21st century, and the only skill that will be relevant in the 21st century is the ability to learn new skills because virtually everything you know is becoming obsolete at a rapid rate. So, if you're not continually learning and upgrading your knowledge and skills, you're not staying in the same place. Here are the three keys to continuous learning. Number one, read in your field 30 to 60 minutes each day. Turn off the television, turn off the radio, put aside the newspaper, and just read in your field. Read books, the best-selling books written by the most successful people in your field because books contain a wealth of riches that can enable you to function at a far higher level, to get much better results than you could before. The second thing you do is take every course that you possibly can, the courses and seminars that are available to you in your field, that are given by professionals, that are courses that have been developed over years and years and years. They have been tested and tested and tested. The person who is talking to you for several hours has spent thousands of hours learning their subject. They have dry tested this or done test runs with thousands of other people. When you take a course, you can learn enough information in one or two days more than you could learn in two or three years, or maybe even a lifetime, all distilled and put together. The third way that you can upgrade your skills is to listen to audio programs in your car. The more you commit yourself to becoming the best person you can be, the more you like yourself and respect yourself, the more energy you have, the bigger goals you set for yourself, the more you persist. The seventh discipline is the discipline of hard work. In the studies of self-made millionaires, again, they said, I didn't have better education, better talent, better knowledge, but I was willing to work harder than anyone else. So, the harder you work, the luckier you get. The harder you work, the more opportunities you have, the more doors open up to you, the more opportunities you see. If you look at an entrepreneurial startup, a business that's being run by somebody who's really driving forward, you'll find that the business owner is usually the first one there, works through the whole day, usually the last one to leave. The business owner usually works on Saturday and Sunday. At the end of the day, if you work three extra hours, start earlier, work harder, day later, you'll add six hours of productive work to your day. Every hour of uninterrupted work when nobody's there translates into three hours of productivity when there are people around interrupting you. The seven personal qualities that assure success. 1. You must know yourself and know exactly what it is you want in life. Goal orientation is an essential requirement of all successful people. Most people starting their businesses compare themselves to millionaires, but once they reach millionaire status, they start to compare themselves to billionaires. What kept the person going for 25 years was the mission, the ability to focus. Very important, the ability to focus is the absolute critical requirement for success. A person who is focused, but average intelligence, can run circles around a person who is a genius but doesn't have the focus. That's why people come out of universities with PhD degrees, with master's degrees, with sometimes 5, 10, 15 years of advanced education, and they can barely make a living. And other people quit school in grade 10 and grade 11, and they come out of school, and 5 or 10 years later, they have their own successful businesses. It's the ability to focus, the talents that you have, like an arrow, it'll hit specific targets. The only difference between a successful business person or a person who's launched a business and one who is not is what the person who's launched the business has done. A person who has not has not. Two, you must determine the price that you will have to pay in order to be successful and then resolve to pay that price. For every single thing you want in life, there's a price. In a recent study, they found that in our society, you work 8 hours a day for survival. If you're only working 8 hours a day, you won't do anything more than survive. Every additional hour, whether you're working for yourself or someone else, is for success. So, it's very important that you keep putting in those additional hours, whether it's extra reading, extra study, extra work. 3. Self-responsibility. You have to accept 100% responsibility for your life and for everything that you are or ever will be. The opposite of accepting full responsibility is making excuses, and many people have said that making excuses is a disease that is fatal to success. In military academies, whenever you are confronted with a senior officer and your tie is askew or your jacket is not ironed, and you're only allowed to give one of three answers, 
Yes, sir. No, sir. No excuses. You are not allowed to say any other word. That's how they train the top officers in the world because, as they know, nothing makes a person weaker or littler than always making excuses. No leader could be a leader if all they did was make excuses. Henry Ford once gave this motto for success. It's never complain, never explain. 4. You must be willing to work hard, to go the extra mile, and to always do more than you're paid for. One of the major secrets of success is always do more than you're paid for, and then you will always be paid more than what you're getting now. 5. You must use your time well. Remember, this life is not a rehearsal for anything else in life, and all successful business people, all self-made millionaires, look upon their time as a resource, and they're very careful with it. They spend their time the way they would spend money. Successful people always look at time and money, and they realize that the two are interchangeable. Now, here's another important point. You can invest time to get more money. You can invest money to get more time, and time and money put together equal happiness. 6. The ability to spot trends and to be aware of changes and where the changes are going. In a recent Fortune magazine article on why companies fail, they say one of the major reasons for failure is the failure to anticipate how changes are going to affect their business and to go on doing things the same way. There are two obstacles to becoming everything you are capable of becoming. Obstacle number one is homeostasis. It means that you become rigid and fixed in the way that you think. It's a major reason that people don't grow because they get locked into what they've already done in the past, and they're very uneasy about doing something new. You're not willing to try new things. So, what you do is, by creating a big goal, you're forced out of your comfort zone because you cannot stay at your current level of performance and set a big goal for yourself. The goal forces you to think bigger, which is why we talked about putting a zero at the end of your income goal. Learn to see the opportunity that's right around you. It's easy to get busy and sort of blinded and just walk alone and not see what's possible and what's available. You see, the average man believes some businesses are better than others instead of realizing the truth that there are no bad businesses. There are just those people who don't know enough to see the opportunities in the work they're in. It takes imagination, creative imagination, to know that diamonds don't look like diamonds in their rough state. Nor does a pile of iron ore look like iron or steel. Great opportunities are constantly in every aspect of the work in which we now find ourselves. People who become outstanding at their work are those who see their work as an opportunity for growth and development and who prepare themselves for the opportunities which surround them every day. If we will only have the wisdom and patience to intelligently and effectively explore the work in which we're now engaged, we'll usually find that it contains the riches we seek, whether they be financial or intangible or both. Music. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to stand before you today and share one of the most enlightening insights from my life's journey. Throughout my career, I've had the privilege of delivering numerous speeches, imparting wisdom, and guiding individuals on their paths to success. However, today I wish to delve deeper into what drives us, what propels us forward in our quest for greatness. This speech is not merely about imparting knowledge. It's about peeling back the layers of human potential unlocking the secrets to personal and professional fulfillment, and delving into the core of our being to uncover the principles that govern our thoughts, actions, and ultimately, our destinies. We will explore the depths of the human psyche, unlock the keys to realizing our full potential, and embark on a journey toward becoming the architects of our own destinies. Welcome to one of Brian Trass's most revealing speeches. Welcome to a journey of enlightenment, empowerment, and endless possibilities. When it comes to achieving personal and business goals, money often becomes a major focus for measuring success. The money mindset, essentially our attitude toward wealth, plays a crucial role in our overall well-being and success. Developing a positive mindset about money is essential. To achieve this, we must rid ourselves of limiting beliefs that hinder action and adopt an opportunistic perspective. By embracing abundance and understanding what a positive mindset toward money entails, we paved the way for financial prosperity. Changing our thinking about money involves understanding our fundamental attitudes toward finances, which influence our daily financial decisions and, consequently, our ability to achieve our goals. Focusing on cultivating a positive monetary mindset enables us to make better decisions and overcome challenges effectively. Here are four steps to help develop a positive money mindset. First, forgive your financial mistakes. Acknowledge past errors, apologize to yourself, 
and focus on moving forward without dwelling on shame or guilt. Understand that your mistakes do not define you. Second, set financial goals. Define what's important to you and establish achievable, relevant goals that align with your long-term objectives. Utilize the SMART goal-setting framework to ensure clarity and effectiveness. Third, optimize your budget for happiness. Allocate your earnings wisely, prioritizing needs, wants, and savings. Budgeting should align with your values and bring fulfillment without deprivation. Fourth, educate yourself about money. Surround yourself with positive influences, read books that promote financial literacy, and engage with communities that foster a healthy attitude toward wealth. By continually educating ourselves, we empower our financial decision-making and promote long-term prosperity. Additionally, understanding the importance of time management is crucial for personal and professional success. Time is a precious resource that must be utilized wisely. By leveraging financial resources to delegate tasks and free up time, individuals can focus on activities that yield greater returns and enhance their overall quality of life. Extending principles of effective time management to personal domains ensures that every moment contributes to a fulfilling and enriching life for oneself and loved ones. Improving time management skills involves tracking and evaluating how time is spent to optimize efficiency and productivity. Increasing awareness of time usage allows for better decision making and prioritization, ultimately enhancing overall quality of life. In conclusion, Cultivating a positive mindset toward money and mastering time management are integral components of personal and professional success. By forgiving past financial mistakes, setting clear goals, optimizing budgets, and educating ourselves about money, we pave the way for financial prosperity and fulfillment. Additionally, by effectively managing our time and delegating tasks, we create opportunities to focus on activities that enrich our lives and contribute to long-term success. By embracing these principles, we empower ourselves to shape our destinies and create lives filled with abundance, purpose, and joy. Your positive, optimistic, and cheerful demeanor is magnetic. The more you radiate this energy, the more people will naturally want to be around you and support you in any way they can. Lucky individuals tend to embody happiness and positivity, fostering strong connections with others and cultivating broad networks of friends and contacts across various domains. The more people you know who view you positively, the greater the likelihood of encountering the right opportunities and connections at the right time. It often seems that serendipitous moments in life are accompanied by individuals offering guidance or opening doors to new possibilities. Many people's lives have been transformed by chance remarks or friendly acquaintances who provided crucial information or opportunities, propelling them forward in ways that surpass the achievements of a lifetime for others. One of the most commonly used words to describe successful individuals is nice. This underscores the power of character and integrity. When you consistently demonstrate goodness and kindness, people naturally gravitate towards supporting you. At the heart of this lies the timeless principle of treating others as you would like to be treated. By embodying positivity, you activate the law of attraction, drawing circumstances and individuals align with your best interests. Moreover, honesty and integrity are not just admirable qualities. They are essential for building meaningful relationships and effective leadership. Consider the individuals you admire and trust the most. They likely exemplify unwavering integrity. Shakespeare eloquently captured this sentiment with the phrase, to thine own self be true, emphasizing the importance of authenticity and truthfulness as the cornerstone of personal integrity. Intensity is another defining trait of highly successful individuals. In any competitive arena, those who demonstrate unwavering dedication and persistence often emerge victorious. The more passionately you pursue your goals, the more likely you are to uncover the strategies for success. This requires putting in the extra hours, exploring various avenues, and continuously expanding your knowledge and skills. With intensity and perseverance as your allies, you become an unstoppable force capable of overcoming any obstacle in your path. When you embody positivity, character, integrity, and intensity, you align yourself with the forces of success. By backing every desire and goal with unwavering confidence and persistence, you position yourself as one of the luckiest individuals in the world. Remember, you have the power to shape your own luck and create the life you envision. Your future is boundless, limited only by your determination and willingness to seize opportunities. 
Transitioning from childhood to adulthood is a pivotal moment marked by taking responsibility for your life. As the saying goes, a boy becomes a man when a man is needed. Similarly, a woman becomes a woman when a woman is needed. Refusing to make excuses and embracing total responsibility is the hallmark of maturity and personal growth. Instead of seeking external solutions to your problems, take charge of your life and embrace challenges as opportunities for growth. Remember, you are always free to choose the quality of your emotional, physical, and financial life. Accepting responsibility is not optional, it is mandatory for personal development and success. By taking control of your life, you unleash your full potential and set yourself on a path of continuous growth and achievement. In conclusion, let the insights and revelations gained here today ignite a fire within you, propelling you towards your goals with unwavering determination. Embrace challenges as opportunities for growth and never underestimate the immense potential that lies within you. With courage, confidence, and an unwavering commitment to becoming the best version of yourself, you can shape your own destiny and create the life you desire. Thank you for joining me on this journey of exploration and enlightenment. Imagine if you will, a young person with dreams bigger than themselves, standing on the precipice of making a life-altering decision. This person, let's call them Alex, had faced one setback after another. They had a vision, a dream they were tirelessly working towards, but life, as it often does, threw curveball after curveball their way. Just when Alex thought they had a clear path forward, another obstacle emerged, seemingly more insurmountable than the last. Now, most people might think this is where Alex's story ends, succumbing to the pressure, giving up on their dream. But what if I told you it was just the beginning? What if I told you that despite the setbacks, the heartaches, and the countless times Alex was knocked down, they chose to press on? You see, Alex understood something very crucial about life. It's not the absence of obstacles that defines our path, but our response to them. This brings us to the heart of our discussion today, the sheer unyielding power of perseverance. Life, my friends, is a series of challenges, obstacles, and setbacks. It's not a question of if they will come, but when they do, how will you respond? Will you let them define you, or will you, like Alex, choose to press on? Think back to a moment in your own life when you were faced with a challenge that seemed insurmountable. Remember the feelings of despair, the moments of doubt. What did you do? Did you give up, or did you find within yourself the strength to press on? The truth is, each one of us has an Alex within us. Each one of us has faced moments where the easier choice would have been to give up. Yet here we are, because you chose to press on, to face your obstacles head on. But how do we cultivate this resilience, this ability to keep moving forward no matter what life throws our way? Today, I want to share with you the principles that not only help Alex but have helped countless individuals around the world overcome their obstacles and achieve their dreams. These are the principles that can turn your biggest challenges into your greatest victories. And I ask you to keep an open mind, reflect on your own challenges, your own moments of doubt, and consider how applying these principles can change not just your approach to obstacles but your entire life's trajectory. Not just as a speaker and an audience, but as fellow travelers on life's winding path, supporting and uplifting each other every step of the way, together we'll uncover the secrets to turning our trials into triumphs and our hardships into stepping stones for success. Perseverance, a word we often hear but don't fully grasp its power until we're in the thick of our battles, trying to reach our goals. Think of perseverance as the inner flame that keeps burning even when the night is at its darkest. It's what makes the difference between dreams realized and dreams deferred. Let's talk about people who've embodied perseverance, those who've etched their names in the annals of history not because they never faced challenges, but because they refused to be defined by them. Consider Thomas Edison, who faced 10,000 failures before inventing the light bulb. Each failure brought him closer to success because he never saw these setbacks as reasons to give up, but as steps on the path to innovation. Or think of Abraham Lincoln, who faced defeat after defeat in his political life, only to become one of the most revered presidents of the United States. His story teaches us that failure is not the end, but an opportunity to grow stronger and more resilient. The psychological impact of choosing to move forward in the face of adversity is profound. When you decide to keep going, you're not just pushing past external obstacles, you're battling the internal naysayers telling you it's impossible. The moment you decide not to give up, you shift your mindset from one of defeat to one of potential and possibilities. 
This shift doesn't just help you overcome the current challenge. It transforms how you approach life's inevitable hurdles. Now, pause for a moment and ask yourself, what could I achieve if I decided never to give up? Imagine the possibilities that could unfold before you if you chose to persevere, to keep that inner flame burning brightly, no matter how strong the winds of adversity blow. Perseverance is not about blindly pushing forward. It's about recognizing when to pivot, when to rest, and when to seek guidance. It's about learning from each setback and using that knowledge to build a stronger foundation for your dreams. So, as we navigate the complexities of our personal and professional lives, remember the power of perseverance. Remember that the difference between success and failure often comes down to who decides to keep going, who chooses to ignite their inner flame of perseverance, even when the odds seem stacked against them. Challenge yourselves to embody perseverance in our daily lives. Be the person who looks at challenges as opportunities, who sees failures as lessons, and who knows that the only true defeat comes from giving up. Commit to never giving up on our dreams, to pushing through the barriers, and to achieving the greatness we're all capable of. Remember, the only limit to what we can achieve lies in our willingness to persevere, to keep going no matter what happens in our journey. It's natural to encounter obstacles. These are not barriers designed to stop us, but rather stepping stones to greater success. Every hurdle we face is an opportunity in disguise, waiting to be uncovered. This perspective shift is crucial for transforming our challenges into our victories. Think about the common hurdles we face, personal doubt, whispers in our ear telling us we're not good enough, or that our dreams are too far-fetched. External criticism, often from those we respect or care about, can dampen our spirit and derail our progress. But unforeseen circumstances, like a sudden job loss or a global event, and throw our plans into disarray. These challenges, while daunting, are not the end of our story but the beginning of a new chapter. Why then do we turn these obstacles into opportunities? The first step is to embrace them. Instead of asking why me, we should ask what can this teach me? This simple question shifts our mindset from one of victimhood to one of growth and resilience. When faced with personal doubt, the strategy is to build self-efficacy. Set small, achievable goals for yourself. Each time you accomplish one, you chip away at the wall of doubt, brick by brick. Celebrate these victories, no matter how small they are. They are proof of your capability and progress. Dealing with external criticism requires a balance of openness and self-assurance. Listen to what others have to say, but filter it through your own judgment. Constructive criticism can be a valuable tool for growth, but it's important to remain steadfast in your vision. Remember, the most successful people in history were often misunderstood or underestimated by their contemporaries. As for unforeseen circumstances, flexibility is key. Adapt your plans, but keep your eyes on the ultimate goal. Every setback is a lesson in disguise, teaching us to be more resilient, resourceful, and adaptable. Embrace change as an inevitable part of growth. Now, consider this thought-provoking question. How can your biggest challenge today become your biggest victory tomorrow? Imagine looking back a year from now, having turned today's obstacle into a stepping stone for your success. What steps did you take? How did you transform this challenge into an opportunity? Remember, the size of your success is determined by the size of your belief. See obstacles not as dead ends, but as detours on the road to success. Embrace each challenge as an opportunity to grow stronger, wiser, and more resilient. Approach our obstacles with a new perspective. See them as the gifts that they are, opportunities to prove our mettle, to refine our strategies, and to come out on the other side not just as survivors, but as victors. The path to success is paved with obstacles, but with perseverance, resilience, and a shift in perspective, there's no limit to what we can achieve. The role of a positive mindset cannot be overstated. It's the beacon that guides us through the stormiest of seas, the light that illuminates our darkest moments. The importance of maintaining a positive outlook in the face of difficulty is akin to keeping our ships steady and on course, no matter how violent the waves may be. Cultivating positivity is not merely about seeing the glass as half full. It's about understanding that even the empty half is an opportunity to fill in with something new and potentially better. So, how do we foster this mindset? Let's start with gratitude practices. Begin each day by reflecting on what you are thankful for. It could be as simple as a sunny day, a good cup of coffee, or the smile of a loved one. 
This practice shifts our focus from what we lack to what we possess, enriching our lives with a sense of abundance. Positive affirmations are another powerful tool. Statements like, I am capable, I am resilient, and I am worthy of success, can transform our self-perception and our reality. By affirming our value and our potential, we set the foundation for incredible growth and achievement. Surrounding ourselves with positive influences is crucial. You become the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Choose to be around those who uplift you, who see the greatness within you even when you might not see it yourself. These individuals not only inspire us but also challenge us to be our best selves. Now, let's turn our attention to stories of transformation, of individuals who, by changing their attitudes, change their circumstances. Consider the story of a young artist who faced rejection after rejection. Each, no could have been a reason to give up, but instead, she chose to see each rejection as a sign that she was one step closer to it. Yes. Today, her art is celebrated worldwide, a testament to the power of a positive mindset. Or think about the entrepreneur who, after a failed business venture, decided to view the failure not as a setback, but as a learning opportunity. This shift in perspective led him to start a new venture, applying the lessons he learned from his failure. His company is now thriving, proof that a positive attitude can turn even the bitterest defeat into a sweet victory. So, what negative views do you hold that can be transformed into positive action? Imagine the possibilities that could unfold if you decided to view every challenge as an opportunity to learn. Consider how your life might change if you replaced self-doubt with self-belief. The power of a positive mindset is not just about feeling good, it's about creating a reality that reflects our highest aspirations. It's about turning our cans into cans and our dreams into plans. By choosing positivity, we not only enhance our own lives but also inspire those around us to do the same. Commit to fostering a positive mindset. Embrace gratitude, affirm your worth, surround yourself with positivity, and transform your challenges into opportunities. Remember, the only limits that truly exist are those we place upon ourselves. With a positive mindset, there are no limits to what we can achieve. Resilience is the very backbone of perseverance, the invisible force that enables us to keep moving forward no matter what challenges or setbacks we encounter. It's the grit and determination that turn adversity into advantage, the quiet strength that transforms defeat into victory. Building resilience isn't just about bouncing back, it's about bouncing forward. It's about using every experience, good or bad, as a stepping stone towards your goals. One of the most powerful techniques for building resilience is embracing failure as a learning opportunity. Each time we stumble, we're presented with a unique chance to gather insights, to refine our strategies, and to come back stronger. Failure isn't the opposite of success. It's part of the success journey. Setting and adjusting goals is another crucial aspect of developing resilience. Goals give us direction, but the ability to adapt and modify those goals in response to changing circumstances is what keeps us on the path to achievement. Seeking support from mentors and peers is equally important. No one achieves greatness in isolation. The guidance, encouragement, and wisdom of those who have walked the path before us can be a tremendous source of strength and resilience. Similarly, the support of our peers who are journeying alongside us provides comfort and camaraderie that can lighten even the heaviest of lows. Reflect on your own experiences where resilience led to unexpected outcomes. Think about a time when you were faced with a challenge that seemed insurmountable, yet you persevered. What did you learn? How did that experience change your approach to future challenges? Remember, building resilience is not a one-time task. It's a continuous process of growth and learning. It requires us to face our fears, to step out of our comfort zones, and to embrace the unknown with open arms. Commit to building your resilience every day. View every challenge as an opportunity to learn and grow, to set and adjust your goals as needed, and to seek and offer support to those around you. Resilience is not just about surviving. It's about living our lives with purpose, passion, and perseverance, no matter what comes our way. Together, let's embrace the journey of building resilience. Knowing that with each step we take, we're not just moving closer to our goals. We're also becoming stronger, wiser, and more capable of facing whatever the future holds. Let's remind ourselves that the true measure of our success is not just in the achievements we accumulate, but in the obstacles we overcome and the resilience we build along the way. 
When faced with adversity, the natural response for many of us is to freeze, to become overwhelmed by the magnitude of the challenge at hand. However, the key to moving forward, to transforming these obstacles into stepping stones, lies in taking action. But not just any action. Deliberate, purposeful, and consistent action. The starting point for any journey of transformation begins with setting clear, measurable goals. It's like plotting a course on a map. You need to know your destination before you can chart the best route to get there. Your goals should be specific enough to provide direction yet flexible enough to allow for the unexpected twists and turns that life inevitably throws our way. Once you have these goals in place, the next step is to break them down into actionable steps. This is where many of us falter, not because we lack the desire or the determination, but because the gap between where we are and where we want to be seems insurmountably wide. However, when we break down our goals into smaller, manageable tasks, what once seemed impossible becomes achievable. Each task completed is a small victory, a step closer to our ultimate goal. The commitment to taking at least one small step each day towards your larger goal is about building momentum, one day. At a time, even on days when progress seems slow or non-existent, the act of moving forward, however slight, keeps the flame of progress alight. It's the compound effect in action. Small daily actions lead to significant long-term results. So, I pose to you a thought-provoking question. What's one step you can take today that you've been putting off? Is it making that phone call you've been dreading? Is it starting on the project you've been procrastinating on? Whatever it is, commit to taking that step today, not tomorrow, not next week, but today. It's remarkable how taking even the smallest action can begin to shift our mindset from one of paralysis to one of empowerment. In taking action, it's also important to anticipate setbacks. They're not signs of failure, but rather part of the process of achievement. When faced with a setback, take a moment to reassess, adjust your plan if necessary, and then press on with renewed determination. Remember, the journey towards any worthwhile goal is rarely a straight line. It's full of detours, roadblocks, and unexpected challenges. However, it's not the presence of these obstacles that determines our success, but our response to them. So, let's not just dream about the lives we want to lead. Let's take the actions necessary to make those dreams a reality. Let's set our goals, break them down into actionable steps, and commit to taking daily action towards achieving them. Let's build the resilience to bounce back from setbacks and the flexibility to adjust our plans as needed. Remember, every great achievement begins with the decision to try. To move forward in the face of adversity is to embrace the possibility of what could be rather than being constrained by what is. It's to understand that the power to change our circumstances lies not in waiting for the perfect moment but in taking action, however small, at every opportunity. Take a moment to reflect on the journey we've embarked upon today. We've acknowledged the inevitability of obstacles in our path, the transformative power of a positive mindset, the essential process of building resilience, and the undeniable importance of taking action. Consider the story of a small seed that finds itself buried deep under the soil. To the seed, the weight of the earth above might seem like an insurmountable obstacle. Driven by an innate desire to reach the sunlight, this tiny seed doesn't possess the strength to move the earth in one grand gesture. Instead, it grows bit by bit, day by day, facing resistance, breaking through barriers, and overcoming challenges until one day, it breaks through the surface into the sunlight. The seed, once buried and seemingly defeated by its circumstances, transforms into a strong, resilient tree, standing tall and proud. This story is a metaphor for our own lives. Like the seed, we too face obstacles that seem to bury us, challenges that appear to block our path to the sunlight. But it is in these moments that our true strength is forged. By maintaining a positive mindset, by building our resilience, and by taking action, no matter how small, we can overcome the barriers that stand in our way. So, I encourage you to apply these principles to your own life. Start with a single step, one small action towards your goal. Embrace the challenges as opportunities to learn and grow. Surround yourself with positivity, seek out mentors and peers who uplift you, and remember, every day is a chance to move closer to your dream. As we part ways, I leave you with one final thought-provoking question. Imagine where you could be a year from now if you refuse to let challenges stop you. What does that future look like? Picture it, believe in it, and then take the steps to make it a reality. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. 
Let that step be your commitment today to move forward, to grow, and to achieve the success you've always dreamed of. The path may not be easy, but the destination is worth every challenge, every setback, and every moment of doubt. As you go forward, carry with you the knowledge that within you lies the strength, the resilience, and the power to change your life. The only question that remains is, what will you do with that power?